Yeah, back down on the links here at Conway Golf Club, testing where it matters out on the golf course. And I'm going to look at two putters from a brand that you maybe haven't heard of yet. In terms of golf clubs, there have been some iconic styles over the years. In terms of putters, some of the most iconic styles have stood the test of time. That makes them timeless. 350 grams of CNC mill carbon steel in two head shapes, the legacy and the tradition. The tradition pays its respects to the classic ping answer. The legacy is a homage to the classic putter as used by Tiger Woods himself. Each putter is handcrafted in the US. Three colour options, satin, black oxide and blue PVD. Scotty Cameron, Even Roll, Taylor Made, Odyssey. There's some big names out there been producing putters for some time. Well, my question is to you before we get too far into this. Have you ever heard of a brand called Timeless? I reckon most of you the answer will be no. In the comments down below, I want to know what putter you've got in the bag currently, what make and what style. Ooh, just raced it by the left hand side. Right, we're going to kick things off with looking at this uh, legacy putter that you've just heard the details on there. And like it says, very much built on the profile that was designed and as used by Tiger Woods in all those major victories. So it seems apt. Me and Tiger, our putting style is identical. Maybe not. But anyway, the legacy putter, it's up. You've seen plenty of images and it's fair to say it's very easy on the eye. From a personal perspective, what I like is they've stripped it right back in terms of no markings or very minimal markings. You've got this timeless logo on the backside and on the front. Other than that, nothing on the sole whatsoever. You've seen again the way that edge is uh, chamfered on both heel and toe and then the flat bottom through the middle. Like I said, very simplistic, but a very good looking uh, putter. On the front itself, that milled face to me is as good as anything that I've seen. The accuracy in the design, the engineering, the precision of the engineering in that milled face again, looks absolutely stunning. So from a looks perspective, I've got to say, the legacy in terms of a blade putter looks absolutely stunning and we still can't hold one come on on camera and let's put this one in that's got to be in maybe not Yeah, you very soon understand where this sort of timeless name comes from. They've created two absolute classics and uh, the tradition, as you've seen there, very much in the homage to the uh, Ping Ansa putter. And they've created an excellent version of it. It's superb. I keep, I'm going to say throughout the whole thing, I'm going to probably repeat myself in that the way in which this has been put together, this CNC milled face, the, the, uh, the whole body itself is the construction of it is superb and it oozes quality. Once again, that same very simplistic design, no markings whatsoever, very much more a rounded profile like the Ping Answer. On a personal level, I would prefer the look of the Legacy Putter, but like I said, that's purely uh, from a personal perspective on how it looks. I've played sort of, um, I don't know, maybe half a dozen rounds now with both putters. And I have to say, the big deal is always the same, isn't it? It's, um, you know, th there's no magic wands. That's the saying that I use quite often because you ain't going to buy a putter. It's all of a sudden going to hold putts for you. What this does very well, and both putters do very well. Like I said, the face is identical, so there shouldn't be no differences there. Is the kind of the control in which the, the line you're able to set it on and then that control in uh, how the ball comes off the face is all you can really ask for. It does it very, very well. It does it consistently, consistently well. And the sound and feel of both of them is superb. It really is. It 
If you are new to the channel, then I am the average golfer and I create plenty of content in terms of club reviews and also do a fair bit of travel content that is obviously golf related. So if you haven't done already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, maybe give it a like. Go on then. Right, so I've had the two putters in the bag for the past 10 days since we've been allowed out to play golf in Wales. And uh, I've got to say, more often than not, and if you've seen any videos that I've produced over that period, I've been reaching for this legacy putter. The, um, the, the version itself and the way it sits behind the ball, I prefer just on the eye. It's as simple as that. But again, I'll repeat, the feel from both of them is identical. But what is it what you're looking for when you're looking to buy a putter? Well, I think... I think aesthetics is a big part because it sort of breeds confidence and one thing you've got to decide do you use a blade putter or do you use a mallet style because if you're a mallet style putter then obviously these are dismissed straight away and for me I would have been traditionally drawn to that mallet style in terms of my putting stroke and style but what I will say is putting with this over this last couple of weeks it's been very very consistent again I mentioned that word consistent the face uh, and being able to control distance has been superb because I think that's the next thing you're then looking at. You know, putters over the years and all the different types that you've tried and perhaps had a look at. The face insert to me is the very important bit and manufacturers have tried many different sort of uh, materials in there and how you sort of, whether or not it's a sound or whether it's a feel or whether or not they're both the same thing, but what you then get back into the hands is the thing that resonates in the brain that for me allows you to control pace and that's that very important key thing and I think like I said what I can't stress enough is how well this company have milled that face the consistency of it is superb and again that sort of sound and feel is fantastic these have both got this kind of plumb line neck which is something that again it's probably what you'd call a more traditional style of neck Oh, nearly. Um, something that I particularly like. This sits very well at a dress. Um, and again, the other thing I will say that you're looking for from a putter is something that's nicely, hello, has got a nice balance to it throughout the swing. And again, this sort of, uh, I think it's 350 gram, I said in the intro, in terms of the weight ahead, it's a really nice, well balanced putter. Um, there'll be a bit of uh, toe hang in there. We couldn't hold two, could we? This is going so well, I'm gonna to have to gain this. I said it didn't suit my putting style. There's a slight bit of toe hang in there. If we can get that out of my way, yes. And uh, again, ideally suited to a slightly different putting stroke from mine. However, that, uh, those last two puts just suggest otherwise. Right, putter videos are always tend to be quite short and sweet because uh, they're very much a straightforward product and I also think from an opinion perspective it's very much down to the individual on the preferences that you like and require from a putter. Um, Timeless as a company have said that they're prepared to give viewers of the channel an access to a price of 279 US dollars that includes shipping to the UK as well and my opinion on that price point is this is that if this putter was put together and had a brand name of uh, a, a better known or, or more well-known brand it would be coming in at a much higher price point so quality as opposed to that price point i think you're getting a real good deal but again that's very much on how you decide to spend your money and what you think is uh, termed deemed as value but honestly in all the putters i've tried and at that price point it's very well priced i'm going to leave it there there's no more to be said Apart from, can we all want, can we all want? Do you know what? This might just end up in the bag. Ever since I've said it doesn't suit my putting style, I've hauled every putt.